Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to introduce Roy Sudeby. Roy Sudeby is the Francis Winspear Chair and the Associate Dean of Research and Faculty Renewal at the Gustafson School of Business in the University of Victoria. As fellows, I knew you agree with me that we try to choose the very best of the best. And since you have read his application and have voted in the affirmative, I know you agree with me that Roy is definitely one of the best of the best. Now, I'm not going to spend my time reading the his application or reading the program, other than to say Roy is an internationally renowned scholar of organizational theory and institutional change. In addition, he's also a pioneer of qualitative research. Now, since we don't have a t the chance to actually be here in person, and so therefore we don't have a chance to literally sit down and talk with Roy, I thought I'd help you get to know him better for those who don't know him by telling you a few uh, fun facts about his personal life. So here we go. The first one is Roy was raised and born and raised in rural Alberta. Now this is an honor he shares with two people. You may realize on the left or may recognize on the left the intellectual giant Irving Goffman. On the right, there's the much less intellectually inclined but probably more popular today, fictional Marvel superhero Wolverine. Yes, all three of these people claim to have been born and raised in rural Alberta. Another fun fact about Roy is that he supported himself through both high school and through uh, college by being a radio disc jockey. This experience has left him, and I quote, burdened with the deep knowledge and abiding love of country music. So I think he and Gene Bartunek need to get together and talk a little about Dolly Parton songs. Another fun fact is that he came to academia relatively late in life after a decade as a corporate lawyer. Now you may ask yourself, why would anybody leave such a fun and fulfilling life as the life of a corporate lawyer? Well, in his own words, what, Roy, what happened is that Roy said he was listening to his daughter talk to somebody who had asked, hey, what, do you, what does your dad do for a living? And she turned, his daughter turned to this person and said, you know, and I quote, I don't know. He just talks on the phone all day. So at that point, he had, I really decided to try something new. He finally knew he'd actually came upon the right profession when a similar question was asked of his son years later. To the question of what does your dad do, his son replied, and I quote, I don't think he has a job. Um, and at which point Roy said, you know what? I think I have arrived. And he's been an intellectual and an academic ever since. Next fun fact about Roy is that he loves English Bulldogs. Um, here's a picture of what an English Bulldog looks like. Uh, he, uh, Roy does have an English Bulldog now, and his, uh, this Bulldog is named Ellie May after the Beverly Hillberries character, which I have put on the right part of your screen. Uh, why would he name his character, or his, excuse me, his dog Ellie May? Uh, because she is, and I quote, beautiful, fearless, and shockingly strong. And a last fun fact about Roy was that Roy was uniquely prepared for the COVID crisis, probably more than any of us, given the constellation of hobbies that he has, which is he likes to hike, and he likes to bike, and he likes to read science fiction, especially dystopian science fiction. So there you go. Now you know a little bit more about Roy. I look forward to a time when we, I could actually introduce you in person, and you can meet him in person. But until then, I wish you all the very best. Hope that you're surviving well and look forward to seeing you hopefully in person next year. Take care.